And we're back to another series of Let's Play. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and the long-awaited Let's Play of PC Building Simulator 2. That's right. I was pressured. I was intimidated. I was forced. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I was told that it was out, and many of you loved my PC Building Simulator 1 Let's Play. And I said, well, I guess I gotta do this one now. So... Let's play some PC Building Simulator 2. I've got my trusty screwdriver and computer parts right here. No, I'm just kidding. I actually have real computer repair tools here. But, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not known for it. All right, let's get started. And as usual, let's go right into career mode. Just as a heads up, I, I just made sure the game worked. <laughs> so it's been a while since I've picked this up, so... Local fire, suspicious. Police looking for news. Welcome to PC Building Simulator 2. And again, I am your host, the RPG guy. Uh, uh, it's a new day and a new shop. It might not look like much, but it's all you have since the old one mysteriously burned down. Read the note from Uncle Tim to find out more. Oh, great. Let me guess. Uncle Tim fucking went into the store, ripped a big fart. And then uh, blew up our shop. So I guess you've seen the old shop or what's left of it. Sorry I wasn't there to take the edge off the shock, but I've got a meeting with the insurance company to discuss the fire. Apparently they think it might have been deliberate. What a crazy idea. Anyway, it's lucky I had this old place as a standby. I managed to rescue the PCs I was working on before the fire and I f moved them all here. You still need to fix them and collect the money for the jobs. If the customers question the smoky aroma, just tell them you had to saw it or something. I also knew you'd need a shop computer, so I've sent one of mine over. It should have arrived by now. Check the delivery area at the back of the workshop. Fair warning, it doesn't work, but it might just need a new GPU, so I've sent one of those over too. The best money can buy. Anyway, get it fixed up, plug it in, and check your emails. You're welcome. Oh, I should also mention that I had to borrow $50 this morning for, brec for a breakfast. That's how you know it's a, a Brit. <laughs> If I've learned one thing in life, it's never meet with insurance agents on an empty stomach, Uncle Tim. So I guess the work, the hard work we did in the old original shop is just a big middle finger. No, I'm kidding. Let's get started. Walk over to the delivery boxes that are waiting for you at the back of the workshop and left click on them to pick them up. Okay. So. Let's see here. So. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3880, 10 gig RAM, 1710, 1188 megahertz. Okay. Wow, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. I think that's what I have. I think I have the TI, though. Let's not ask Uncle Tim how he managed to get hold of one of these. Now just now you just need the PC that he sent. It should be somewhere in this corridor. This is where PCs and cases are delivered uh, and where you need to place PCs to return them to customers after completing a job. Okay, so let's pick this bad boy up. Let's follow where the highlighted area is. This PC needs to be fixed. Left click on the PC case to put it into build mode. And so we'll go ahead and yeah. Oh, removing the screws. Okay, the PC is missing a GP. Thankfully, you've just had a very good one delivered. Let's install and rebuild the PC. So let's take off this PCI lock. The GP is going to be a two slaughter side, so. Boop. Oh, wow. Interface is much more colorful. Um, okay, graphics card. Grab this guy. Oh, they're starting to mark stuff, it looks like. Oh, glorious. Okay, and then remove. Okay, so that's how we put stuff back. All stuff that I'm okay with. Okay, so then we'll put this on here. And then it should be good to go. We'll just need to... Okay, just... Okay. Your new PC is all ready to go. Carry to the workstation. You have to place it under the desk. And it's loading, loading. Call your merm. All right, double click to open app. 
Welcome to your email. This is where all your jobs, messages, and offers will arrive. Check it every day for your new jobs and keep on top of your business. Okay. Inbox. My, uh, from Cassante at Cassante Visions. Okay. My name is Cassante and I'm an urban and aesthetic and innovator and artist i'm currently working on an ambitious project about perceptions of danger and i need my pc to be painted completely red to match the color of the rest of my room is this something you can do but uh, labor 120 bucks objectives pink is red we'll take that job customers pcs will take a day to arrive so it won't show up until you end the day okay that's standard you can view accepted jobs by clicking on this folder you have a job, and then when you're ready, go to the PC. Let's see how to do this job. Make some money. This customer's PC needs a virus scan, so take it to the workbench for diagnosis. Uh, there's computers in here. I guess we'll just put it here. This customer wants any viruses removed from their PC. You'll need to use a USB stick loaded with virus removal software. Luckily, you have one in your inventory. So it should be okay tools usb drive oh look at that you can actually put it in any port now oh what a glorious day and just like the original you gotta plug everything in and so for all of you wondering yeah if you've been following the channel you know that this is going to be a double length premiere and so you're in for a treat for sure Run the app. And it's infected with tons and tons of prawn. We'll clean the files. 337 files of concentrated, unadulterated, uncensored, and ungigified prawn. Left click to exit. Place at workspace. To do okay, that's. You've removed all the viruses and the PC is ready to be returned to the client. Pick up the PC with right click and take it to the corridor. Do, 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 do. Great, this PC will automatically be sent back to its owner. Now you just need to collect your pay, go to your emails, and hit collect. So we go here, there's the collect. Boom. And we made 120 smacker renos. The PC is on its way back to the customer. You've been paid. On to the next job. The other PCs on the workstage, workbenches are now available, so check out your emails and see what customers want and complete their jobs for some extra cash. All right. Well, that's, that's, that's a deal. Let's go ahead really quick. You can actually purchase this soundtrack, so if you enjoy the, the, the uh, music, uh, definitely check it out. But for the sake of the Let's Play, uh, we're going to keep that off um, due to, you know... People being jackasses. Not necessarily the creators, by the way. Just people in general. Bits and pieces. So, the following parts. So, a lot of Team Group T Force uh, memory, it looks like. A, a GTX 970 Gaming 4 gig and a H440. Cool. Hey, if you're reading this, you got that old PC of mine up and running. I knew you could do it. So, now you've got a new workshop and a computer, which means we're officially open for business. The only problem is, specifically, we don't have any. <laughs> I'm sure you can make it for now, but if you really need cash, the bank might be able to set you up with a loan. Just don't push it, okay? They're already asking me awkward questions about what happened to the old workshop. I think a trip abroad might be in order. Good luck, Uncle Uncle Tim. Because I posted another little gift, something to help you organize things. It should arrive tomorrow, so keep an eye out. Okay. All right. My name is Cassante, and I'm an urban... Is I think we read this already. Uh, PC status. Oh, that's... Okay, so that's how we can look... Oh, look at that. Did they just find a way for us to, like, buy this stuff? In question? Ooh. That's a transit. Shawnee D and MrBin.com. Hello. I put orange LEDs on my computer to match my goldfish, but I've recently expanded my aquarium to include a variety of other color f of other fish. Now my PC no longer matches. Can you do rainbow lights? I like one of those nice walking effects, please. Thanks, Shawnee. All right, Shawnee, let's take a look. Welcome to the lighting app. The lighting app allows you to create great effects on customers' PCs. For this job, this customer wants lights to be set to rainbow with a walk effect. So let's get started. Access the monitor to begin. Okay, let's access the monitor. Power. Okay, select all. Let's go with rainbow. Walk. 
to take the piece of active delivery to collect your rewards uh, when you're ready. The lighting app can now be installed onto a customer's PC using a USB drive. Out of the tools section of the inventory. Okay. So that be done. Shimple enough. Flippity blop. We'll collect it once we uh, get done. Oh, look at that little outside area. Dirty wall. Dirty looking place. I love it. It's 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 homey. And then there's a f storefront, so I'm wondering if we could do something with this later. Everything must go, including your soul. All right. You know what? Let's just have him collect it. Nice, two hundred bucks. Oop. Okay, dear sir, madam. Here at the South Whirl Country Club, we host a very popular cheese and land soiree every year, which sees our members face off against one another in the classic titles such as Ultimate Strike Siblings. I'm not inclined to brag, but I should mention that last year I entirely owned the notoriously proficient Duke of Norfolk in the final match. I'm sure you can therefore understand why my personal computer needs to be in tip-top shape. The GPU is fine. It should be, as I pay upwards of $5,000 for it, but the CPU could use a little more oomph. If you can entice it to run faster, I'd be internally grateful. You, as an anticipation, Robert Ferrier, OBE. Okay, uh, overclock CPU to at least 4,300 megahertz. We're going to upgrade the CPU to 400 and whatever megahertz. It's going to be great. This job, you need overclock the customer's CPU, which means making the CPU run faster than its stock frequency. Connect the cables to the PC and select the monitor to get started. Yeah, we were able to do this uh, in PC Building Simulator 1, though the instructions were not very clear. So let's see if it's any better this time around, or a little, at least a little more tolerable. CPU... This menu allows you to overclock the CPU by increasing the base clock and ratio. The voltage setting is used to stabilize the PC, but you need to be careful not to use too much or you could damage the CPU like a jackass. The CPU speed shows how fast the CPU runs and it is and is a function of the base clock times the ratio. So here it's 100 megahertz times 40 to give 4,000 megahertz. You tweak either value to change the overall frequency, but normally you use the ratio for big changes and the base clock for smaller changes. Increase the CPU core ratio to 44. This increases the CPU speed to 400 of uh, 4,000 or 4,400. Holy crap! And increase the CPU's voltage to 1.35. It requires more voltage to remain stable, but don't go too high or it may damage the CPU. So 35. Boom. Apply. Some of this stuff we already should know. I'm not going to sit and read in the tutorial. I mean, we, we, we did best with it in the first game, so we should be good. Uh, OCCT. OCCT can be used to stress test a CPU or GPU after overclocking to check stability. It can, sh it can sh also show if a CPU is getting thermally throttled from running too hot. CPU will not run efficiently if it gets too hot under the, uh, 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 too hot under load. To begin, left-click continue. Uh, whoops. Left-click on the on button to begin the, double, the OCCT test. Wait for the stress test to complete. Do 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 do. Tra la 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 la. Yo ho ho ho. Tra la 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 la. Yo ho ho ho. Yai yai yai. Five, four, three, two, one. The overclocking test has been completed. Congratulations, the CPU remained within its operation parameters in the test. This means it has a stable overclock and can be returned to the customer. So yes, so we can see the value, the minimum, the max, and the value is within range. So Oakley Doakley, takes PC back delivery and collect payment from the email. Overclocking is complicated and you can damage your hardware if care is not taken with settings. I recommend you experiment with overclocking in the game to see how far you can push the limits. Remember to use OCCT to test their stability, which you can download using the USB drive found in tool section of your inventory. Oh. All right. Help me, Ronda. Yeah, get it out of my shop. 
All right, let's uh, collect all oh, that big fat wad of sweaty money. All right, water cooled GPU. Oh, we're done with this one. But, oh, we didn't read it. Okay, well, we'll read that. I am currently water cooling my PC to cope with temperatures here in the forge, but I'm, wait, what? But I am nervous to do the GPU by myself. It seems very complicated. Could you please water cool my GPU and set up the loop for me? Donna. All right, Donna, let's do it. The customer wants you to water cool their GPU and add it to their existing water cooled loop. To do this, we will need to remove the GPU and add a GPU cooling block. Let's get started. This seems new. Um, usually when in the previous game, you would just buy the pre water cooled in, in, uh, GPU. But I, my understanding in this one, however, you can do a little bit more. It's a little, the, 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 the experience is a little more hands on. Move to the workbench next to you and add a water cooling block to the GPU. All right, let's do that. So, uh, boom. Now we have the GPU on a water cooling workbench. We need to add a GPU block to it. First of all, we need to remove the screws and heat sink. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Open says me. Let's take a look. Left click on the old thermal pads to remove them. Okay. Now we need to apply some new thermal pads. Left click and select them. Mr. FX GPU. Yes, please. What cool me? Next, we need to remove and replace the thermal paste. Thermal paste is an important part of PC building as it increases the efficiency of the heat seat transfer, the heat transfer between the CPU and the heat sink, helping to prevent the CPU from overheating. Make sure that you're always, make sure that you always refresh the thermal paste when working on a customer's PC. All right, so, yeah, yeah, take that, take that old, old thermal paste. Brah. Okay, let's back up. Okay. Um, thermal paste. Make sure we get a good proper layer. I like making it as a spider. He's a little spider. Last thing to, to add is a GPU block, then it's ready for assembly. Okay, so I guess we have one of these in our inventory. This is the block. And uh, let's give it the old one, two screw. All right, so now we have our water cool GPU. So let's take it back and install it. Okie dokily dokily. Great, the GPU is ready to go back to the PC, become part of the water cooling loop to begin. Left click to continue. Uh, GPU blocks. PC parts with the custom water. Oh, that's what I clicked on. Okay. Let's install this biatch. Let's plug her in. Plug it in. Plug it in. Okay. And then piping. So it's time for us to add the, the road to cooling the route. Seems like they have a very distinct way they want us to do this. We get to choose the color. Let's go with like, I don't know. Let's do that. Um, okay. That's doing its thing. Well done, the GPU has been installed and is now part of the water cooling loop. Replace the PCI lock and slide panel. Make sure the PC can boot to the operating system before you take it back to the delivery area. All right, so let's plug everything back in. So we got to boot this bitch. And then, do, 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 do. PC parts, removed components. There's the lock. Here's the slide panel. Boot her up. And boom goes the dynamite. All right, so 
this bad boy be done it be done will it all right uh and then we're gonna collect our big fat water the swanny bunny boom 270 bye bye Ooh, just one last thing to do let's give your business a new name go back to the hallway and left click on the business name panel all right well that's fine by me oh yeah tim's red hot repairs no thanks and it's gonna be jack tide for uh, uh let's see jack tired peace uh bro broad pc repair Oh, we can't put any more. Repair and corn. Okay. I am. Looks like you're now the proud manager of Jack Tard Pro Prod PC Repair. Don't worry if you change your mind. You can rename your business at any time. That's everything for today. So go to the door in the hallway to continue. Well, we're not going to do that yet. Let's, let's clear out this. Well, I wanted to get my PC fixed at your shop, but I found only the an empty space and a pleasantly smoky aroma. I gather that you're no longer a business at this... At that address. Pazic Firefighter did tell me that you were opening a new workshop nearby, so I thought I'd drop you an email see if you're still taking on repair jobs. My computer has been very slow lately, and I fear I might have viruses of some sort. Could you please take a look and sort it out for me? Best wishes, G. Old Bane. All right, well, we already did that. So we have one job. The, the PC is not here. So, uh, well, let's uh, continue, shall we? Do I got to do it. Oh, wait. All days work. Here you can end your day in advance to tomorrow. You don't need to buy any new parts yet, but in the future you may need to check that you have ordered everything you need before going home. You can look at this calendar at any time to keep track of all your jobs, deliveries, deadlines, and bills. All right. Select this button to end the day, and we're going to make it uh, a brand new day. Good morning. Hope you slept well. We have a busy day ahead. You accepted a job yesterday, and the customer's PC has arrived. It needs to be painted red, so it'll take it to your work, but let's get spraying. Oakley doakley. Changing your workbench type. For this job, you'll need to change and refit the workbench ready for case customization. Highlight the workbench and press B to change its type. Oh, wow. So I guess we have multiple benches that probably serve different purposes, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay. That's a neat little concept. Uh, press B when hovering over an empty bench. For this job, you will need to change and refit the workbench ready for occasion. Highlight the workbench and press B to change its type. Ah. I guess we could just leave this one as paint, I guess. Because, I don't know. Maybe not. We'll figure. We'll worry about that later. So we requested the entire paste we can read. Select the spray can and start painting. Uh, okay, spray can. He wants it red. We'll give him the blood red. Oh, and uh, yup. And we'll make it hard. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, the customer wants the glass sprayed too. Okay. Whatever you say, jack off. All right. All the sides are red and the job is complete. Now take the PC back to the delivery area. Go to the customer's deal. Collect your payment. Well, that's a hideous looking computer, but let's take a look. I'm super stoked. Okay, hold on. All right, so my name is Cassante. Okay, yeah, so this dude's rig is done. What is this? I am so super stoked to see a new repair shop in town. Totally sucks what happened to the last one. I hope they catch the guy who did it. Anyway, the air cooler in my computer is busted, and the whole thing is really uncool. Like, literally uncool. I can feel the heat coming off it. Can you replace it for me? Uh, coming off it. Hope you can help, Brody. All right, Brody. He's got this guy. I can go right to it. Look, add to the basket and assign to job. Task tracker. The task tracker allows you to allocate parts to specific jobs. This window can be brought up by interacting with the link icon and checking out the little. This is nice. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Did I not accept the other job? Hold on. Yeah, we'll accept. 
accept. There we go. Some drives require new additional or replacement components, so let's order a new air cooler with us to receive. When buying components, be careful to only buy components which are as good or better than those the customer wants or already has. Left click to close the app. Oh, they're just going to freaking do it for me. All right. We're just going to go next day, I think. Uh, buy now at $24 with free shipping. Well done. You've ordered a new part. You can use the calendar to check when the new part will arrive and find them in a box in the hallway once they get here. Okay. Uh, we may as well collect. And we leveled up, and we made 120 smackerinos. The click on the box of the hallway to left click on the box of the hallway to unpack it to there your delivery. The contents will be added to your inventory. Shouldn't be our stuff. Tablet. A tablet that will assist you in managing your business. You can read email, shop, run apps, etc. While on the move. Oh, nice. Uncle Tim has sent you a brand new tablet to help run the business. Take a look and see what it does. Okay, so this is something that was in one of the uh, the updates. Um, one of the DLCs. They had a tablet to help you out. Your new tablet is now ready to use. It's packed with apps. has a snazzy camera. and You can use it while on the move to manage your time more effectively. If you're not sure where to start, check out the pre-installed decorator app. Oh, okay. Big Bob has agreed to redecorate your workshop for free. You can change the floor, ceiling, walls, poster, decks, desks, and many other features. Let's see what's available. Okay. Rustic carpet. Kind of like the way the rustic carpet looks, but it's a little messy. This, this isn't bad. Contemporary. I don't need, I don't want nothing fancy. I mean, to be fair, this place isn't supposed to be a dump. And I take pride in our dump, so we're going probably either vintage wood or rustic carpet. Which is all messed up. We're not gonna we're not gonna mess with decorator right now. Um email. Congratulations, you've reached level two. You have unlocked six seventh gen Intel core CPUs processors. I don't know why they did it that way, but they did. Ryzen quad core CPUs, Zen first gen Ryzen, A320 chipsets. AMD Radeon RX 470 GPUs. These are components available in the shop right now. Woo! All right, so I'm not going to read these all the time, but I am going to keep an eye on what's getting what we're getting out of a lot of this. Uh, so okay, we, everything's in transit right now. Um, we've got our big fat stacks of sweaty cash. What I probably want to do is put this on build mode for now. Maybe this guy's our water bench. Uh, so let's make this one our case modeling for now. That way we can run two PCs here and anything I'm currently working on big time can be over here. I'm not committed to any of these ideas, by the way. I'm just saying it, speaking out loud. All right, so we get the day delivery of the prism and then we get the the job needs to be done by then, I'm assuming. So we're going to make it a brand new day. Now one real question. Do we mid-max by doing everything in the dark not this time oh wait a minute my sign glows the prawn is glowing in the darkness all right uh there's our amd wraith prism the air cooler it is the air cooler you now have the air cooler so now you need to exchange it with the old one left click to continue all right, we'll disconnect the item. 
I like how they've added a new uh, method to this here. Not just a dollop. You actually have to do the whole goddamn thing. Um, tools, thermal. Nice. Plug it in, plug it in. Oh, gotta feel so good inside that motherboard. And let's put the panel back on. Well done for six hours. Power up the PC and ensure it works before taking it to the delivery area. Like how it makes a noise when you turn the computer. <laughs> uh, virus scanner. I don't see a 3D mark thing on here. I see softwares. Various different software, rather. Oh, operating system cleaner. That's probably cloner. Oh, that's probably to do something. There's some new stuff in your R20. Power monitor, select wallpaper shop, OCCT, parts ranking. So there's definitely a smorgasbord of different programs this time around. No 3D mark, though. Thank God. Probably OCCT is enough, but we'll worry about that later. All right, so this one can be... No, wait a minute. Where's the one we were just doing? All right, we can collect on this guy. Nice. Oh, look at that. So... You straight up get 220, your profit. Okay, so parts is going to play a factor into this game. Interesting. Much appreciation for the new case. It was exactly what I asked for. Unfortunately, it was also so perfectly matched to the red I had used to paint the walls. I tripped over it and landed on my nose. My next project will be about the interface between technology and pain. I'm really feeling this one. Peace. Yeah. Replace solid state drive. Hello, thanks so much for assisting with my virus problems. The computer did indeed seem to run more smoothly after your ministrations. However, I find myself in a teeth of another in the teeth of another difficulty. I have no idea what an SSD is. I wrongly assumed it'd be a rather delicate medical issue. But a computer illiterate friend assured me that mine has broken and needs to be replaced. He's kindly allowed me to use his laptop to send this massive this missive, but I'm leery of trying his patience too far. If you see your way clear to replacing the relevant part for me as soon as possible this wishes g old baden so let's go into here for the stats he needs a new solid state so it would be this guy here boom right the ssd why is it not looking oh i never accepted the thing that's why So we want to accept and then shop. Okay, hold on. Let's just go into the emails here. In transit. Boom. 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 Conform. All right, let's do the next one here. Customize. What's up, mate? You good? I bought this PC for playing music at my house parties. Proper cool. We call him DJ Computer. <laughs> DJ Computer in the house. Whoop whoop. Can you paint the outside case green so it contrasts with the sick red inside lights? But do not spray the glass. Because I want, I want to see the bling. Cheers. That's from Jay. We will accept. So we don't have to do anything crazy with his sh dealio. I can't believe I actually said it like that. Okay, so we have nothing to do with that. Let's go back to the shop. Let's go to check Chirk out. Uh, the computer's not here, right? So we'll just make it arrive tomorrow. Uh, so yoink. Um, and then we're good to go.
Let's make it a brand new day. I think I might put the paint shop back in the other room. I'm not sure yet, though. All right, so there's the solid state drive. Um, let's do the customized job first, just because of reasons. Um, so he wants not applied on gra glass. Paint case green. I guess there are people that do this. Which I guess if you really just like colors, then it makes sense. So the customer needs you to replace the book and real estate drive, and this will also require the association to operating system. So let's open the panel. Now, usually solid states in some towers are located on the back part. Remove the broken A data, blah, 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 blah. Uh, SSDs are smaller than HDDs and are usually installed in vertical slots rather than drive bays. And we're going to go to storage. Boom, boom. Then we're going to install this bad boy. Naughty PC. And we'll need to close her up. <laughs> you have successfully replaced the book associated with the opera. The PC can now be returned to the customer. And you, yep, 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 yep. Used. Broken. Let's see what it tells us to do first before we do anything. Um, okay. My computer has been behaving very erratically for the past few weeks. I've had boot errors, freezing, blue screens, and other mysterious occurrences. The exorcist I called in told me that it's probably a faulty CPU and more likely to be your f your field than his. If this is the case, could you please replace the CPU for me? Hopefully the holy water hasn't compounded the damage. I did leave it next to the radiator to dry. Thanks. M. So we'll accept this one. Let's already get started. So to replace the CPU, well, that's going to be this guy here. Replace CPU. Boom. Let's check our email again. Uh, upgrade. Install a GTX 970 or better. Do you do upgrades? Only my best friend. Well, second best, but it's a long story. Just got a new GeForce GTX 970, and he's been going on and on about how great it is while I'm stuck with this old thing. I wouldn't mind, but she does this every time she gets something new, and it's so annoying. Like, okay, yes, we get it. You have more frames per second, but that doesn't make up for the fact your team still has to carry you through every game. Have you not heard of playing the objective, Megan? Jesus. Anyway, I saved up all my pocket money and did some garden work for my neighbors, and now I finally got enough to get my own G4, GTX 970. I'm not fussed on what brand you use, but that ought to shut her up for a while. So can you help, Ellie? Uh, we'll accept it. Many customers will ask you to upgrade components of their PCs. For most parts, you can do this by comparing details in the shop. For graphics cards and processors, it's also worth checking the parts ranking app on your PC and tablet to make sure that the part you select has the equivalent or higher rating than the one requested. Well, okay. She just wants a 970 or better, though. So... Oh, I see what she... Okay, so that makes this a little trickier. So... There's a 7... Okay, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. So she wants a 970 or better. So what we can do is go to Parts Ranking...
Okay, GTX 970 or better. So our budget looks like it's one six fifty. So the best 970 will be the Sheen GeForce 970 Gamer XL. Um. So if we. Nine seventy gamer XL. So we'd go with that or the MSI four seventy. Could even go out to the two ninety. What our budget her budget's six fifty. So let's just look at Okay, so shop All right, they're all four gig. Two sixty-five. Da 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 da. Uh. We could go to the two ninety greater. At least six hundred dollars. Parts budget six fifty. So if we go with. Oh, but you know what? We're not we're not checking things quite right here. What's our power supply? Five sixty. So nothing here is like over the top. Um. So that you know she's got that in there. So we may as well go with. That's the strongest one we can get, really. But it's not always the best. So there's the 4G. 12, 42, 16, 15, 12. That's 285, 285. 1241. Okay, so this, you, you save $5 and you don't do much difference. So I would say we go with these. Well, she's got this. <clears throat> May not have the space for one of these guys. <laughs> Screw it. We're just going to do it. So. All right. I'm, I'm putting too much thought into this. We will do next day delivery. All right. Let's collect here. 200 bucks. Um, and then we'll collect this. Excuse me. Nice. More and more parts there. All right, so everything is on its way. Let's make it a brand new day. Okay. All right, let's grab the loot. The AMD Ryzen 3 quad core. Okay, the processor and the graphics card have arrived. Let's go ahead and do this upgrade for Foist. And then
put this back on as we put it all back together. Nice. Now, in pre in the previous version, one of the things that was kind of a awkward necessary evil was running and testing that things are working. So we don't have the 3D mark, which is fine because I didn't really like running that anyway. But we do have O double CT, and I'd like to run that, as I definitely put in the wrong software. There we go. And the reason I want to run these two things is because it guarantees there's nothing else wrong with the computer. Because I think as uh, in the PC Building Simulator 1, as you progress through the game, customers don't tell you everything that needs to be done to the machine. So if you don't run basic diagnostics, the game would penalize you. Now, they may have done something with that and it altered it or made it more simplistic or what have you, but I think it would be pertinent for us to run these basic tests just to make sure. So we need to replace the CPU here. And we'll do the same thing here because we're putting a new processor on. That way, if it overheats, it should blue screen and we'll be able to fix it all up. Get this in. We'll run the same stuff on this guy. But I need to get the thingy out of here. So we only have the one USB drive at the moment. Okie dokie. Like I said, we'll, I want to start doing this now, even though the game hasn't implied that that's going to happen yet. It's better, again, better to be safe than sorry. Look at that. We can run stuff while stuff's setting up. on remove Oop. all right let that run its course looks like it's all good oh wow you can't remove stuff unless you have the drive what a shit load of fuck okay that's interesting that's very interesting the more you know you have to have a flash drive to remove software. Hmm. That's not how computers work. Pretty sure about that one. <laughs> That's okay. It's a game. For those, I know there's a lot of people who are like hardcore, like, That's not how computers work. Refund. Like, yeah, it's a video game. Come on. Give the guy a break. But that's not how video games work. Okay, I heard you the first time, bro. Calm down. All right, this guy is done as well. It will be getting out of the shop. Now, paint the case a yellow. Customized glass, so we will accept that. I saw some sick PC cases in a magazine. Do you think you can do me one in yellow? I'm all about that shard Chardonnay. Cheers, man. Gaz. Oh, God. Uh, hello. I'm told... Is that home? Okay. I'm told you're newly available for computer hardware modifications. My name is Professor Edmund Will. You may not have heard of me, but not to worry, you soon will. <laughs> I have recently been experimenting with the use of neural networks all... 
AIs to infiltrate and take over and take control of complex computer systems like, say, a satellite network. With very promising results. Doing so requires a large amount of computing power. I find GPUs work very well. Sadly, my computer borrowed from the government agency was never built to sustain this level of power and desperately needs an upgraded power upgraded power supply. Uh, Assist me and you will be spared when I ascend to the rank of supreme ruler of uh, fail me and let's just say I have a bathtub full of piranhas that I'd be glad to introduce you to. All the best, Professor Evil. There you go. Institute of Applied Villainy. Okay, install A Data XPG Core Reactor 650 Watt or better. Let's accept that. So straight up, he just wants an A data 650 watt or anything 650 watt or better, I'm assuming. So home, boop, uh, power supplies, and we want something in the 650 watt range. And so I don't even see the one he's asking for here. Oh, there it is there. So price is an interesting thing because here's a 650 for 80 bucks. Boom. Boom. Um, because why do something better for this evil man? The budget's 250. This thing's 80 bucks. Next day delivery. So we'll buy it now. Um Okay, so this is a little easier. Certain elements of this game seem to be a little a little easier. Let's collect this bad boy. That levels us to three. After we make a big fat wad of sweaty money, let's delete that. Uh, the 970 or better. Let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and turn that in. And oh man, a big fat wad of sweaty money. And we get on the job a little, whatever that is, an achievement. I'm assuming. I'm telling you, I haven't really played this uh, much of this. So if we get achievements, clearly they'll show. Obsidian series 1000, uh, MSI, MPG, Gugner. Uh, 100, okay. So six core AMDs, quad core AMD, uh, an older one there, and then some Intels. Okay, so cool. Uh, congratulations, reach level three. Install Cabby Lake X processors, Ryzen 6 core. Zen second gen Rise processors, 3200. Okay, more RAM. Uh, colored cables. Okay, so cool beans. Wait, what? Expand today. Dear valued potential client, we're excited to offer you once a lifetime opportunity to expand your working space and your business horizons. You have recently come to our attention as a fast-growing local business with an unused shop that's just begging for a little renovation. For just $500, we will completely overhaul your shop front so you can sell PCs as well as fixing them, opening up a whole new revenue stream. Best of all, we guarantee all work completed overnight. That's right. Our team of hardworking engineers and overpaid consultants will work from dusk till dawn to have your new workspace ready the next day. Customer testimonials. I can't believe they were able to do all this in just eight hours. I gave them the keys and they unlocked the potential of my business. They overhauled my warehouse overnight and I didn't even hire them. Now that's efficiency. One of them came and replaced my wife. Awesome. This offer is only available for a short time. So act fast, grow your biz because life's too short to wait. Okay, pay 500 bucks. Fucking... Shut up and take my money. Congratulations, your storefront is due to be built. When you leave for the day, the builders will move in and have your new shop ready for tomorrow morning. Okay, so everything here looks pretty good. I don't even know why the desktop is on. You can now renovate the storefront, allowing you to build and sell your own PCs. Check emails for details. Okay, so we'll power that down because I'm just going to use the tablet, I think. So let's make it a brand new day. Oh man. <laughs> Room for expansion 5 XP. New storefront is ready. Time to branch out a little and start selling your own PCs in your shop. Let's build our first PC to sell. Open the tablet and check out new spare and repairs app. Okay, spare and repairs. Spare and repairs in store where you can find broken PCs for sale and repair them and sell in your shop. Offers are updated every day, so keep an eye open for the daily deals in your email. Buy, left click to buy this broken PC so we can fix it and sell it in the, in the shop. What's broken? Some RAM. I like this. I like this idea. So profit 310. So let's buy. This PC has been delivered and is waiting for you on your new workbench here in the shop front. Any other PCs you buy from spare and repairs will be sent to the delivery area as usual. Move the PC and let's see what needs doing to turn this PC into profit. 
This is cool. I like this. See, this is more what I... They heard my calling. That my calling was as simple as, yo, dude, um, can can we, like, have a real storefront? Look at this. This is great. Okay, my nipples are officially hard now. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get on with this, shall we? Oh, now our store back room looks like fucking trash. Well, we'll upgrade it maybe in a little bit. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, it's over here. Oh, they have like a little area in here. PC has a broken stick of ramp, so let's open the case, remove the old stick, and put in a new one. Resale value right now is 503. I'm trying to and reach it. Uh, I can't really reach the clip. Okay, it doesn't highlight it. I don't remember if it did that in the first one or not. All right. Uh, left click to select the T group. Select the RAM. Guess they gave us the RAM for the purpose of the. They're still kind of thinking the tutorial phase here, which will give us reason to appraise our inventory. I'm glad we're doing a, a long, a nice long episode for the premiere. It's my first time premiering this, uh, guys, so I am excited. Let's take the PC to the shop and turn it into cash. Well, isn't there anything we can do more to it? I guess they're not going to because it's tutorial based, right? So let's put this sucker right here. Great. Now let's set the price for the PC. Um, <clears throat> let's click here to edit the name of this PC. Uh, the Jack Tard Special. The Jack Tar, nah, nah, the Jack Tar OG. There we go. The price of the PC is automatically set to the RRP. Um, the price can be edited by pressing here, but this time let's keep it okay. You, you probably a way to do. It. You've earned a bonus for naming your PC. Here you can see how the RRP for the PC is calculated, including the cost of parts bonuses. For any additional improvements you've made, say, and a charge for your time. Some bonuses may not be available yet. You'll need to progress further in career mode to unlock them. Okay. So LEDs, five-star bongle rating, customer wa custom water. Okay. So the more we do, the more benefits, or at least shows us how we get there. Uh, so let's go ahead and sell this bad boy. Check back in the morning and see whether it's been sold. Case, customizations, new cables, overclocking, 3D mark score, all increase the final value of PC. There is a 3D mark in this game. You can set the price up to 50% higher than the recommended retail price, but this reduces the chance of it selling. Okay, well, that, that's relatively cool. So, um, home. Can we do anything else now, or can we only do maybe because it's a tutorial? All right. Let's do these jobs real quick. Do 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 All right. Um yoink, you wanted yellow. Maximum. Right. Let's put this here. Yoink. Holy crap. All right. So we need to do the uh, process or the, the power supply. 
Which I don't think I grabbed yet, so let me do that now. Yoink. So we now need to you know, remove the abomination of cabling that goes with this power supply. I think for computer repair stuff, we'll benchmark things um, with that other thing in my jig, but we're not going to do that yet until the game maybe tells us. I don't know. I'm just one of those people that just likes to make sure stuff like that. Property of Edmund. Uh, like I said, let's do our. I'm just curious to see. You know, try to be a good technician. Do 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 Let's go ahead and turn this guy in. And then his is getting worked on. It's looking good. And then we'll let them collect. Do, 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 do. All right, making them shekels. All right, completed. We got a lot of stuff in the inbox. Some new bits and parts here. More parts. Delete that. And we've unlocked some new stuff. More motherboards and pr uh, processors. Okay, so cool. Um, we're done with that. And we're done with that. So it doesn't matter if I delete them in the... No, I am in the tablet. Fly stickers to case emoji. Okay, greetings. I know it's only been a moment of time since my last new email, but art does not exist at our own convenience. Apparently planning an ambitious new installation on the nature of language and have arrived at the threshold of that humblest of modern hieroglyphs, the emoji. Abstracted yet plump with meaning, could it be the gateway to a pure form of expression? To cut to the chase, you see how words could often get in the way of the very point where you're trying to make. Do you have any emoji stickers you could apply to my case? I feel this could be <clears throat> just the thing to spark my imagination. Peace. Okay, so another job from Kazande. Um, emoji stickers. I, I'm going to assume we got to buy that. So. Um. I don't see anything, so we'll, we'll figure that out. Upgrade. Install 8 data ultimate SU 650, 960 gigabyte or better. Uh, so, salutations. I seem to be in need of an upgrade to my storage as my current hard drive is groaning beneath the collective weight of my video files. To be specific, I need you to add 960 gigabyte SSD to my current storage. <clears throat> I should be able to conduct the necessary adjustments with ease and leave my computing device in your capable hands. So, he wants a 960 SU 650. So, We'll, you know, go to the shop. We'll go to storage. Uh, 
SU. Here's the guy right here. I have not done my due diligence here. Let's accept. Not used to that mechanic. I will in time. So this is the guy who wants. Yoink. Uh, boom. We'll just go with that for now. We have the one item. We'll do the buy now. Boom. Looking good. All right. So we've got two rigs coming in. One, we don't know about the stickers, so we'll have to figure that out in due course. Let's make it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, broken power supply, broken processor, cores here, dominator, eight. Okay, broken. There's two of these, so we would want the exact same thing to replace this. We have the money. I would say to do this. Um, Okay, so let's just buy it. We'll repair... Ooh. Probably none of these yet. Um... Let's just do that. Let's see what we can actually do here. You know what? Let's make it a brand new day. We have the, we have the computers. Put them in... Can we use this? Nice, we can store stuff in here for now. Let's get some cash, and then we'll do these upgrades. I probably shouldn't have bought those. Could have screwed myself. Um, parts, is there any way to filter... Uh. Okay, that doesn't help. Peripherals... Uh, hmm. So we have a power supply. Let's sell this. So we have a power supply. One of those needed a new power supply, I think. Let's see here. I think it was this one. So that's what's broken.
That's to start. We could mid-max some of these computers down the road. I just want to try this feature out a little bit more. See what we can do. Let's boot her up. Let's put it over here in the shop. Oh, God damn it. I think I'm gonna do the repair work for these computers at this table if I, if possible here. A little far, but I think we can make it work. Tools that blank. Let's see what we can do with this. Will it run system info? Do that. We'll do that. Cool. Uh, that's cool. Let's run this. Let's see what that is. We'd be cutting this close. Check that out in a minute. Check that out too. That's done. Oh, you can uninstall while installing. Okay, that's cool. Install you. Uninstall you. Maybe we'll get more info on that. Let's uninstall that. Looks pretty technical. <clears throat> and then let's run this if we can figure it out. Start the test. And we'll see what the deal is with this. Looks like there's even a run for a single core computer. That's interesting. Try that too. Out of curiosity. Let's see if this raises the value when we put it down. This is going to take a while. All right. Uh, well, that's going. Shop sales. Oh, okay. A voltage calculator. Okay. Um, okay, so there's nothing really in here. This doesn't really show me what I've purchased in the past, so we'd have to diagnose each one of these and figure out what's going on. But I believe I, I should have kept track of it better. Um, I think one was RAM and the other one was CPU. So... I think this one was one of the memory sticks. So let's plug it in. We have a little bit of cash, so...
What's the problem? It'll be something we don't know how to deal with yet. Uh, we'll run that. Figure out this guy. This should be done by now, right? Holy mother of Burl, it is not done. Well, we can troubleshoot this while we're here. Um, put that guy on. We'll do that last. Yeah, okay. You can only install one at a time. Fuck with the lighting. Uh, that. Checking for prawn. Yeah, we don't know how to use that yet. See the memory. That or there's only one showing. Um, okay. Okay, there's one broken stick of memory, so... Let's see, um... Can't job link it. 2666, 8 gigs, so... Eighty five bucks. Cool. And then let's grab this guy. works so a cheapo processor intel celeron okay g5920 20 bucks. You know, just so I can have it here now. Pay the little extra. Let's do this one first. I have a feeling this one's going to take a while. That one's broken, so we'll sell off the broken one. Really 
let you do this very quickly, do they? that memory the broken one can go And then we'll do the same thing here. And then the lighting. Hey, we're going to get maximum profit off this thing. We may as well try to do that, right? That on. This guy's done. Do it without the USB drive. Uh, let's run. I guess we'll run this these guys for now. Check the one that's out front. Looks good. All right, let's uh, remove. Let's see if this actually did anything. I know it's like all quiet on the Western front right now because we're curious. Okay, so let's put this out. Maybe right. So we only got something for the LED, LED lights. Um, hmm. Really nothing else? The heap? The... No, 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 no. The... Prawn, the prawn alpha. Get that prawn at 150 miles an hour. Uh, so we got the okay. So new cables. We didn't do that. Case customization. Meh. Okay. So not everything can be done that way, but we can get some stuff. I guess running the software didn't matter all that much. It's already on sale. 
We're gonna let that run anyway, just because I'm I'm stingy like that. Run that. This one gonna take a while. We'll probably save this. Let this one do a single core run over the you know brand new day. We're not gonna. Oh, you know what? These are gonna both are gonna take a while. We'll just run those and see if we can actually run them into the next day. So, uh, really quick before we fiddle with anything else. So, it's that, and then we've already ordered that, I'm pretty sure. So, let's make it a brand new day. And let's get to work. Cinematic. You can now check your profits using the tablet at the shop sales app. So, did anything sell? Nice, 320. Okay, so we didn't get as much on... Wait a minute. Check back your regular keep up with your shop sales. Okay, so we made some money. That's good. And then... Okay. I can live with that. Alright, before we work on anything new, these guys should be much further along. Let's, let's take... Okay, this one's done. Kinda. Kinda, maybe, sorta. Let's, uh... And then the other one needs to run its other test, and that's gonna take a while. So I don't know why I left it there, but I did. Uh... Let me grab that. So let's boot this bad boy. I think as the, we progress through the game, we're going to do more to um, increase performances and whatnot. But for right now, meh. You know, we'll do what we can. Uh, yoink. So this guy is done with all the... I know I just switched the RAM setting, but whatever. Let's remove everything from it. That'll be good, that'll be good, that'll be good. So we have a bunch of tools that we don't know how they work yet. So that'll be interesting when the game maybe shows us or gives us access to this. So, all right, this one to be done. Wow. Oh, yeah, they did say the benchmarks matter. Okay, so pretty sure that they matter. Okay. Name. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's put uh, Jack Tide Deluxe. All right, uh, overclocking. I don't remember doing that, but we must have. Oh, maybe it was fiddling with the RAM. Uh, customized LED. All right, let's sell it at twelve hundred dollars. We'll see what the profit margin on that guy is going to be. All right, so all right, we'll let that run. It'll be done before we're done with these. Uh. Let's do this guy first. Storage. We'll see where we can put the state solid state drive in. After I grab it. From there.
Let's do our usual suspects if we can. Like I said, I always want to... Oh, shoot. I always like knowing if I did everything correct. I don't know what the blue ribbon means. Maybe really good perform sale. I don't know. Uh, virus scan. And we'll do the other, the O double, double, uh, double CT test. Looking good. Still going to be a while. <sighs> Apply emoji stickers. Let's get sticking to begin customizing the PC. Clef, click continue. Okay, stickers. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, they want six stickers. Got some uh, blooters. Whatever you make the size scale. Ah, man. All right, this guy is done. Good. Do, 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 do. All right, all good. And it finally freaking finished. Yay! Take this guy. I don't know here. Okay, so uh, let's call this one the heap. Overclocking. I guess. Oh, I guess messing with the auto thingy does help. So nice. New cables, case customizations. I guess those are easy. We could paint the case, maybe. New cables. Uh, yeah, so recabling with new cables. Adding a water cooling loop. Okay, so there's things we could do for some money. Um, but we'll leave it at that for now. Kind of need the money, as I stated earlier. So I just want to make sure that we're not over overdoing ourselves here. So we got some new rigs in. We'll take a look at that, I guess. Uh, this one should be done. Nice. And then this guy should be good as well. Hi there. I just started a new YouTube channel called Funny Gaming Moment Moments 469. 
Like and subscribe if you want, lol. And I'm going to be playing Colorful Chaos Royale. Getting those funny kills and biggest memes. Only problem is I can't do any of that at the moment because I got this PC from my dad, LMAO. I know it isn't good enough to play the games. Game, can you upgrade it? Thanks. And don't forget to check out my channel. All feedback is 100% appreciated, except negative stuff. Keep it to yourself. Hello, I'm Josh. All right, so we need to find out. He wants to run something called PC Can Play Colorful Chaos Royale. Um, hmm. Well, we don't know exactly what it takes to play that, but we can we can figure some of this out without having the computer have to wait here a day by going and installing, if it's not here, will it run? It's kind of the same trick I think we used in the other, in the other uh, PC building simulator game. So we're looking for the game, oh geez, Colorful Chaos Royal. Here we go. And it says, right, with minimum specs, budget of 200 shekels. So the PC status, Let's take a look here. The minimum requirement is a C Core i5 6400. Uh, he doesn't have a good enough processor. So we need to look into some of that, I think, is the big problem. Graphics card 750 Ti or higher. 750 Ti he has. The, mem the memory, 16 gigs. He doesn't have the memory either. He's short on memory. And he's got this Martoni H170 Plus. So if we go in here, it's a Skylake processor. So if we want, he needs what? An i5-6400. So number one, let's accept the job. This job requires to use what run app on a USB drive. You can install on the customer's machine. It's just their computer means for switching over to change for example. Yeah, we're doing it manual, like old, like probably semi old school. Um, so we know his stats are just not up to par. Um, like I said earlier, so he needs an i5 6400. So if we go here to processors, i5 6400. It's a Skylake. It's $80. Just buy that. Attach it to that. And then the memory. Now, he has some memory already, uh, but he needs 16 gigs. So, Platinum 2666. So, he needs two more. Shop 2266s. I just want to check that motherboard again. Um, H170 MTech Plus. H170 MTech Plus. It looks like it's got four slots. Okay, so that covers, I think, him, and it stays, I think, in the range. He's at 180 with a $200 budget. So that, that covers him. Uh, RAM. Upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM and remove viruses. Well, what do you got? 16 gigs of RAM. He's running a H170 for Tunix. Um, so he just needs more of this. So T-Force... We'll just get some more of that, I guess. What's the uh, budget here? 100 bucks. So he needs two T4 gig 2800s. So. Wrong. There we go. So he needs two of those. Computers is a bit slow lately, and somebody told me I might need more RAM. I thought a RAM was like a male pig, but whatever. They said two more 4-gig sticks should do it. Also, is it true that 
you're like a doctor for kids because I see stuff flashing up on my screen. My girlfriend says it might be a virus. Can you antibacterialize it or something? Cheers, man. Gaz. Okay, well. Sure. Okay, so we need... Which one's Gaz here? This one. So we're kind of doing the same thing twice. Um, and then what do we got here? Okay, ahoy! Have you heard of Avasti Swabs? It's a nautical par piratical simulation game, and yesterday those bilge rats over at Buccaneer Studios finally released the newest expansion, Be Still the Waters of My Doom. Only problem is me computer is not exactly a flagship these days. The expansion introduced all new water rendering tech, but I can't run it. Yar! Can you commandeer some sort of GeForce GTX 1060 GX gigabyte or better for me so I can see those waters of doom in all their glory? And if you can get it done as soon as possible, I'd be most grateful. I'm eager to get back out on the high seas with me crew. Not exactly yars! Captain Cod 98. Oh my god. Okay. So he needs a 1066 gigabyte or better. What is he running? So he's running, it looks like an AS Rock Gaming Phantom. It's a small, t tiny little card, but he's got a big case. He has a proper motherboard. What's his power supply looking like? Okay, so that's fine. So he needs 1060, six gigabyte or better. So 1060, that's literally all we have six gigabyte or better so that's you know okay 325 our budget here i don't know oh this is old i think no this is the right one uh our budget we don't need to see that anymore though our budget is 550 so 1060 gigabyte or better so if we go to our parts ranking here um 60 So that's the only 1060 we have, but the 578 gig, I think we need to stay six cores or higher. Um, so let's look at like maybe the 578 gig here, the RA. No, let's just go with the NVIDIA GeForce Founders Edition and be done with it. Okay, um, shop. And then I did not accept the job, did I? Yar, and then we have new parts. Cool, more me memory case. It looks like some processors and a motherboard of some sort. Okay, shop, boom, yar. That's six oh five. Now, before we do any more buying here. Let's uh, minimize that. Let's go to these parts here. So let's see. What do we got? Uh, a broken power supply. Broken motherboard. Broken memory. A 1650. Uh, so it's a video card. Do we have... We have a used video card we can throw in there. And that's it. So we have one thing already. We'll definitely get this guy. I wish they want two eighty two. Shop. Uh, 650 watt. Okay, so any power supply. So, but 650 watt. Let's go into continue shopping, power supplies. 650 watt, cheapest one we can get, maybe. This one here. And... And then we'll go ahead. Okay, so the DFL A320. 
motherboard. A320. Buy that. We're going to be cutting this close. So let's buy this guy. We can't do this one, so I don't want to buy it. Um, but we need the Team Group T Force Dark 8 gig 3000. So, uh, memory 8 gig 3000. What, what, what was it specifically? T Force Dark Silver. 8 gig 3000. It's 100 bucks. Boom. Yeah, we're going to be short some, some moolah here. So let's go ahead and buy now for next day delivery. And then there's one we can fix right away. That way we can put it on the market because we need the money. It was, I think this guy. Let's undo this and get this one kind of out and going here. wasn't the power supply. I don't think it's this one. That one. It was like a real no name thing, wasn't it? That's A three twenty. What was this one? Yeah, there we go. Plug everything in. Nice. Screw that all in. Do that. Let's do this. Run that guy. Boom. 
Then... Do, 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 boop. Static. Rainbow. Done. Move lighting. It's good. Run. Actually running pretty fast too, so that's good. Let's just double check and make sure everything else is okay in the shop. Yeah, we only have room for, it looks like, two computers to set up. That's interesting. It'd be interesting to have some actual orders and stuff going on, but apparently that's not the case. Exit that. Shut that down. And then I think for the sake of money, well, sake of time, we'll let this run for the next day, right? We're going to let this just run and do its test if the single core takes a long time. So because if it does, then, yeah, we need to make this a new day. We've got two computers out there that should give us the money we need for stuff for tomorrow. The other thing, too, is actually, theoretically, if I go to here... We did buy this. Your account is overdrawn, but this is okay. And as part of growing your business, the bank gives you 1,000 free overdraft to help you manage costs. Okay. So that's fine. Because that way we can get this sucker going soon and on the next day. Uh... Let's just get all of these up so we can start working. And we'll leave this bench clear for us to do kind of other jobs. The main story jobs while we get those guys running like their little debugging things. Okay, we'll close that. We're in the negative. No! All right, that boy is done. Actually, that might not take too long, but let's go in here and do a few things. Yoink. So we'll just plug it all in right now. I've already forgotten what needs to be replaced here. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. No RAM. We got the one six. So we'll leave that as is. Place them out there. I did. So what we'll do is. You don't know. Leave that in there for now. That won't take a while. So let's make it a brand new day. After I check my email. Account overdrawn. That's fine. Let's make it a brand new day. We need to make sure we have enough money for the rent. Of the day. And so we'll check out the revenue for um, the shop if we got any. Uh, we'll come back to that. Start here. We need the money. All right. Nice. Nice. The more the merrier. Uh, wow. We got 116% on that one. That's going to be our budget money for the time being. Uh, let's go ahead and really quick grab the parts. And really quickly, while we're here, this guy should be done. 
and ready to be sent out to the front. So, yoink. Another heap. Uh, 50. Oh, we didn't overclock it. Shoot. It's 50 bucks, man. I'm stingy. $50 could be like a freaking, you know, heat sink, man. CP. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. On. Oh, it's already kind of overclocked, isn't it? We'll just leave it alone then. Even though it doesn't count because we didn't do it ourselves. This should count. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you know what? You know what? Because we need the money. Let's see what this goes and does for us. One HP. Let's just see what that does out of sheer curiosity. It's another f 50 bucks. Okay. New cables would better be more than 50 bucks if I we ever do that. Uh, and the water looping we're not going to bother with. We're going to go with that. Sell. But we could go higher. Okay, so when you get that high, it gets a little ridiculous. So we'll leave it there. Those are the work computers. Grab this. Put it there. And let's get these started, shall we? Uh, so this guy's broken part was... I think there was a processor. No, RAM. Okay, so... Memory. So it shows the the stuff on it, so it should be okay. Get this guy in. Close her up. Let's run the usual suspects. No, 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 no. Oh, stabilizer. We got a... Clearly, we're getting something for doing some of this extra work. Run that. Select all. That's fine. All right, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, button. Okay, so finish, so we can uninstall this. 
install this. Run. Link. This, I believe, is a bad motherboard. It's going to be a bastard to replace. Right, because that's what we... No, no motherboard. What are we replacing here? Let's plug it in. Ah, incompatible. There's a problem. There's your problem. Okay, so we need the pylon 650 watt. We'll get it sent today. Um, same day shipping. Uh, we'll come back to that, guys. Well, uh, fuck it. We'll just read it. Is it in there with everything else? It is actually not. Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, the shop. Um, home. No, continue shopping. Power supplies. Pylar, I think it was called. Pylon. Pylon. 650, right? 650 pylon. I swear that's what I got, but maybe not. Uh, pylon 650. Let's take this out and see if this is what's really going on before we just buy it. Well, it says that's fine. So there's something else now. Maybe I didn't pull it. Let me just make sure I did it. Whatever. Okay, that's fine. Motherboard's bad. So what's in here? A three twenty four two X. I think this is A three twenty M or two X. Oh, I gotta take the motherboard out. Duh. That's why it's incompatible. There's a motherboard still in it. Hey, RPG gun, guess what? What, bro? You're kind of dumb. What, what, what the hell's wrong with you, man? All right, I want to get this underway. Oh, God, that means we got to take everything out of here. So the power supply can come out of the uh, storage, or out of the uh, shopping cart. We have everything here, I think. So we'll get that figured out. Let's get this motherboard back in.
And then cooling, memory first. Back in. Got it booted real good. All right, let's uh, install the usual suspects. Actually, let's check the other computer. This actually thing might already be done with that test. Let's do the single core. Run that. Select all. And then remove that. Run that. Okay. Woo. Okay. Well, that's running, running, running. Let's do this guy real quick and everything will be running kind of the way we need it to. Um, this must be the power supply that's, I think, out. Right? Because we have a power supply on us. So, so this one should be relatively easy to figure out. Yeah, that's broken. I got to do this on all three computers. Bloop. No boot device. That would be why there's no boot device. I'm missing something. Still do that shit to you. The fuck with you. All right, let's get again the usual suspects. Maximize the sale of this rig. So far, we haven't found any viruses on one of these rigs yet, so that's interesting. Okay.
Yeah, man. Nice. No, so much stuff, huh? Well, we're getting to the end here of our first episode two hour special as clearly there's work that's got to be done in order to get all of this kind of squared away but we are getting there i like this new kind of manner with the storefront it's actually feels a lot better than that goofy office we were in gotta say i like that element quite a bit all right so that's running this guy's done here let's run that that one's still going so, with these two things running here, uh, they're getting there. They're taking, a, they're taking their time. They're going to. Uh, but what we'll do is uh, I will set these guys RAM overclocked and all of that good stuff before we have the next episode. I'm not going to make you guys sit for this because, well, you know what? You know what? Let's, let's just do these guys, right? Uh, all right, this computer first needs to be able to play that game, so we'll come back to that. No, no, we have all the parts labeled, I think. Okay, we don't even need to do that, but they're going to make us do it anyway. Uh, I don't know why they're telling us this now. What the hell? Oh, they're going to make us install the, uh, the the thingy. Don't tell me they're going to make me buy the freaking parts. They're going to make me buy the parts, aren't they? Yes, yes, they're going to make me buy the parts. How horrifying. Man, I can't get out. I can't get out. No! All right. Uh, we'll click, will it run? <laughs> so the processor, it says he has enough RAM, actually. I thought somewhere it said he didn't have enough, but I guess he did. So, check to see if the PCB is ready to require over 4K specification really give the customer requires. If not, buy the parts that are needed to complete the job. If you need to upgrade the CPU or GPU, use the part ranking app to make sure that the part you select has the same or better score compared to the one suggested. Make sure that the GPU has at least the same amount of VRAM. Okay, so, um, we can kind of remove that in a moment. We know he needs more memory. Um, what's he already got? He's already got that. He's got, well, see, it says he has 16, it's supposed to have 16 gigs, right? So is he trying to fool here? He doesn't have them 16 gigs. He only has, oh wait, I'm in the wrong area. He has four gigs. Oh wait, no, he needed his four gigs. Oh, God damn it. Well, we're going to put it in there anyway. Because I think it'll give us our money back, maybe. So let's just throw that in there anyway. It's not like he's going to give a crap. And then he needed the... Rosicel. We'll find a use for that down the road. Get in. Boot. And it's booted. Meets the recommendations. That's good. Let's remove that. I don't think we need a 3D market. I don't. He didn't ask us to. So, but we will run the O double C T. Oh shit! Oh stop! I wanted to run it foist. 
All right. While that's taking its 30 seconds, let's snoop around and see what needs to be done. This guy looks completely done. Let's overclock. Boom. That's, I don't want to mess with that right now. So apply changes restart. All right, this guy is done. It's almost done. Cool. Check the other one. Run that guy. Nice. Boom. The mega turd. Uh, okay, new cables. Da, 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 no customization. Whoops. Let's do that too. Just slap a sticker on it and call it a day. Boom. Nice. That's fine. Boom. We can sell. I'm selling these for a little more because I think we can get away with it at this point of the game. Looks done. So let's exit that. Remove. It's all coming together, y'all. Let's make sure it's running properly. Oakley Loaf. Let's uh, slap a sticker on it, call it a day. Let's put the green man. And set her out. Ooh. Uh, come on. Ron Master 1000. Boom. Uh, new cables. Hmm. Oh, because we did the whole motherboard. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's do 1600. 1700. That's good enough for me. We have room for one more, and that's getting worked on over here. Let's get back to our jobs as we are letting that run. Upgrade to 60 gigs of RAM, remove the prawn. Excuse me, kind shower. Is your computer riddled with prawn? Let me depronify your rig ASAP. Let's, um, tools. Loop. Plug everything in right now, so because we need to. And uh, 
It's riddled with riddle with prawn, prawn, riddle riddle with prawn, rid riddle with prawn, rid riddle with prawn. Goodbye. And five hundred and forty files of prawn have been removed from this rig. A very very welcome. We got eighteen seconds on that bad boy. Let's grab you. We'll let you over here. Install a new video card. Make sure it all runs okay. This guy's done. Do do so much we've completed guys so much work done oh man what a great first episode in my opinion we've we've done a lot oh it's still going they don't tell me i started it over no for the love of all that's holy three oh van it is complete my friend all right let's remove it All right, get it out of my shop. All right, before we start making our cash here, got one looks like one spot for one more computer. Let's go ahead, and we haven't done this. Ooh, power up save game. Let's do a save game. Oop. Um, let's call it Jack Repair One. Oop, boop, boop. And boom shakalaka like a bibbidi bop. All right, and then there's power ups here. You've purchased no power ups. Okay, we'll re resume. Probably an optional thing. Let's go ahead and email. Let's go to the jobs we're working on and collect on these guys. Nice. Tinker. Cool, whatever that is. Let's turn this bad boy in. For some cash. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, 1066 gigabyte or better. Nice. Delete that. Uh, many thanks for the stickers. I can already tell I will spend many hours staring deep into those eyes, plumbing the false steps of these printed windows to a soul that does not exist. Emoji, emo smileys, but who is really smiling? <laughs> And what can a smile truly mean when expressed as an abstract concept? No doubt it is beyond your understanding, but this is my job to take the incomprehensible and render it coherent. You have, my, you have been a great help. Peace. Yay. Add stickers, burger, and food. So this is specific. Haha. <laughs> no, I don't want you to actually slap me, but thought it would get your attention anyway. I'm Jill, and I manage the burger bar around the corner. Best burgers in town, if you ask me, but I would say that. <laughs> I've had this old PC here for years. It's nothing fancy, but it does the paperwork. It does look a bit drab, though, and I wonder if you could slap a big, fat, juicy burger sticker on the side of it. 
I've seen them, so I know they're out there. How about sticking five more foods on the side as well? It would be hilarious. Hope you can help. Live Jill X. Okay, that's fine. We accept it. That's simple enough. Upgrade to 2,000 gigabytes of storage. Hi, Robin Millworm here, chief twitcher of the Royal Contra Ortho Ornithological Society. We're dedicated to observing and preserving birds of all kinds. Fortunately, I've gotten myself into a bit of a flap. Some classic ornithological humor there. Haha. <laughs> I really set up cameras in my back garden to record the comings and goings of all manners of common birds. These cameras are hooked up to a master computer, which I keep safely nestled in the branches of a tree. I was able to pull the footage I wanted from the PC, and you'll never guess what I discovered. The entire family of lesser spotted go go gooblers Gooblet Foteta, nesting right in my back garden. Needless to say, it is an extremely rare opportunity to study an unusual and reclusive species, but my computer is saying I'm running out of disk space. I'm in desperate need of an upgrade before this chance is lost forever. My friend tells me I already have one terabyte drive in my computer, and that's another terry, that another terry should be enough. Is that right? Thanks in advance, Robin Milworm, RCOS. All right, so what has he got in here? He's got one terabyte, for sure. Um... He needs another terabyte, it looks like, so we can actually accept the job, because that's simple enough. Uh, boom. And for 60 bucks, we could just plop another one in. Uh, boom. Confirm. Not going to check out yet, because, as per usual, we've got some more in here to buy. Ooh. So what do we need here? Ram. Let's take a look at what power-ups unlock. Range power-ups are now available to purchase in the shop. These can speed up the installation of parts, cables, screws. They can be toggled on and off of the pause menu. Okay. Let's see what we're actually sitting on here. We got a processor. We got a bro let's sell the broken motherboard. We've got a working graphics card. This one's broken. And we've got a broken power supply. So we have a processor and a graphics card. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh... That's a power supply. That's a processor, and we might have a matching one for that. I'm not sure. Um, that's a Skylake, and they're asking for M H170 MTEC Plus. So if we go to, yeah, well, I think we have this already, and that's a video card, I think. So we could buy this guy. And we can buy this guy. We should have what we need to fix these two. I, th I think. Uh, and then for these guys... Oop, 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 oop. This needs a new stick of memory. 16 gigs. We'll get whatever. Uh, memory... 16. Um, at 3,000. That's fine. Plop that in there. And then... So that guy's covered. And and a, a XPG pylon 750 watt. So power supplies pylon 750. Boom, boom. Next day delivery. Ah, screw it. Same day delivery. No, next day delivery is fine. Uh, no, same day delivery. All right, and that should cover all of that good stuff. This guy should be done, which he is. Let's remove this guy. And I think I did the RAM on this one, so I'm not going to... We'll check. Ah, screw it. We'll check it. Just in case. And then that's going to be it for now. Oh, yeah, it's good. All right, so this guy be done. And we have four computers ready for sale. All ready to go. All ready. Everything's good. He's good. The only thing we didn't do is slap a sticker on it. I want to put a picture of a big giant dick on it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, or am I? Uh, I don't want EVGA. No, that's pretty lame. Food, games, bumpers, emojis, symbols. Burning the death machine. Customized, and we'll call it. We'll name it the Doom Hammer. 
And we'll see if we can get a whopping 1500 for it. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. That's fine. So everything except water cooling and the bongle rating. New cables because we did some cabling in there. So there it is. Look at all these beauties. And look at that. They even put the for sale of how much they're worth. Oh, that's cool. All right. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for stopping by for this amazing premiere that we just did. And I, oh, shit you or not, when we come back, we're going to have some more computers that need repair done. And we're going to be gradually, I would say, or assume, we're going to start making some serious, you know, some serious bucks here. Because, yeah, good things come to those who repair. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. So check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash our studios for some more live gaming action. And if you're a big fan of live streams, I live stream here and on my Twitch channel. And you can check us out. Most shows are week are, uh, Tuesday through Saturday, Sunday-ish, around 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. We have the Chairman of the Board Show, a tabletop gaming show that meets most Tuesdays and occasional Saturday uh, Fridays. At 7.30 Pacific Standard Time, we play board games. We have the D&D &D show on Fridays at 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. Um, we have a Live from the Dumpster with Hobo Headcrab every other Thursday. Uh, and uh, on top of that, uh, that's at 7.30 p.m., maybe sometimes 8. And Wednesday is the RPG Guy show where I play usually something for the first time. And that's Wednesdays at 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday streams are at the Liberty. You can check out the streaming schedule at Twitch dot com twitch.tv slash jack tart studios uh just check out the schedule there and you will see what we will be playing um yeah so anyway thanks for stopping by guys and we'll see you guys next time